Hey guys, my name is Bridget and today is day three of the booktube -a I really enjoyed this challenge. I really liked this because I felt like it gave you a lot of creative room to work with things and like to make it your own. And no one's really gonna have the same thing because I mean, how can you? And it allowed you to like create a script and like figure out what you're gonna say and everything. And I just, I really like those videos like that. I'll let you start watching it and then I'll show you my reading updates. I hope you enjoy it. I will have the books that I am mentioning at the bottom of the screen, like here-ish. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Hey. hey Belle, what are you doing? It's the Booktubeathon, so I'm reading. Why? I was wondering why you're sitting in the dark. Yeah, there's all the light we cannot see outside when we readers stay inside reading all day. I'll give you the sun if you go outside to read for just one day. No offense, but I'm putting me before you and making my fangirl life a priority. It's like the sea of monsters out there with bugs. Come on, be a rebel, Belle. Come to the final empire, also commonly known as the outdoors. You shouldn't sit around soundless all day or else you'll turn into shadow and bone. Get off the page. You know, it's like a different planet out there. I don't want to seem like a Martian to everyone, especially not Lola and the boy next door. They already think I'm a hobbit. The selection of where you want to go is up to you. You could go to the city of glass. Yeah, that's interesting with the throne of glass. They have the air of fire guarding it using the assassin's blade, so you can't see anything except the scarlet walls surrounding the whole room as if the whole thing was catching fire, so I mean... Also, it's twilight. How late are you going to be up reading? It's not like anything interesting is happening tonight, like an eclipse. It's just the new moon. I might stay up until the sky is breaking dawn. I do want to pick up that book from the archive section of the library that me, Earl, and the dying girl were talking about today. It's not life and death. Just let me read until the last star is in the sky. Also, don't worry about me being up so late. The fifth wave of reading sprints has just started. Fine, carry on with what you're doing. I guess I'll see you in the afterlife. Yeah, move forward. I have to get back to reading. I am 203 pages into Miss Peregrine's Self Peculiar Children, and I'm gonna go to bed because I'm really tired and I can just fall asleep right now. I'm planning on waking up for the five to six sprint, hopefully, and then I think I'm gonna go back to bed for like another hour, and then I'm gonna go up, get up and read again after that, and then I have my tournament. I'm gonna bring another book to the tournament. I'm gonna bring Miss Peregrine's and another book, but just in case, because. I think I have to stay there for like an hour after the tournament's over, like after I come in, because no one can pick me up. So I finished my tournament, and now I'm sitting here waiting for my mom for like an hour or two, two hours I think. And I'm reading Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I also have Vicious in my bag. I'm not sure which one I want to read. Right now I'm reading this one because I'm almost finished. I've only got like 120 pages left. So I'm hoping to finish this one today and start another one. Maybe I'll read a comic just so I can get by and read something really quickly. I don't know. It's really good. I'm really enjoying it. It's picking up a lot. And I am 262 pages into Miss Peregrine's Song for Peculiar Children. And I'm going to currently be taking a break from it to pick up The Flash Volume 1, Move Forward, which is the first one of the New 52 in the DC Comics. And I'm really interested and excited to read it because I love the TV show and so I think I'll really like this. This, as you might know if you've watched my TBR, is not on my TBR, but I'm going to be using it for a book with yellow on the cover and a book that you read after sundown hopefully because I'm going to probably try and finish it tonight. 9.59, half of the flash red. So I'm going to finish the flash tonight, but for now I'm taking a little bit of a break and going back to Miss Peregrine's. Not for too long, just before the reading challenge is announced and then I'm gonna go back to Flash and finish it and then hopefully finish Miss Peregrine's. So tonight will be eventful. End of day two and I'm on page 268 of Miss Peregrine's and halfway through the Flash. So I should be finishing both of those tomorrow and starting another book. I'm not sure which one yet. Thanks for watching you guys. I will see you in my next video which will be tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, bye!